So, you want to own your own restaurant, but you don't know how to cook. Well, grab some Lunchables, throw them in the microwave, and boom, you've got a nice selling business. Hey guys, I'm Matt Tuts by Kai. I'm Kai and today we're back once again taking a look at how to create a glow effect in Inkscape. Um, this is super simple, and it's really useful for if you're using, uh, like I said, if you want something to glow, or if you want a shine effect, or if you want a nice little highlight on something. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. I want to do the first thing is, obviously, we're going to go up to the circle tool, and I'm going to create a circle, and this circle is going to be a... Uh, a big old boy like this. I'm gonna create like a, a super soft one first. We'll do it. We'll do. We'll do two of them. Um, and I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the, to the fill and stroke um, uh, dialog box. If you don't have this fill and stroke, go over to object and then hit uh, fill and stroke right there. Boom, and then it'll be right there for you. So. With that done, I'm going to go ahead and hit this little uh, button right here, which is the radial gradient. And as you can see, boom, instantly, what we have here is a nice little gradient. Um, the way we can edit this is uh, using the Edit by Paths tool. So if you click this little point up here, it'll you'll be able to edit the outside value, like the the, the furthest one away from us, like the... Uh the, the outer rim and then if you click the one in the middle you can edit the one the color that's in the middle of the screen there so you know i can make it like a nice you know color like that or whatever um but for the sake of this i'm obviously going to leave both of them um on white so that they look um so they look uh, uh, uh um all the way that i need them to look i'm actually going to turn the opacity uh all the way down for the outer rim circle so i'm just going to go ahead and uh and oops, and grab this one as well you can see these so the outer two circle here these are the same i uh, just turn the opacity down and then it'll create a nice little you know a nice little uh, glow effect like that which is cool um i will turn the opacity down for the one in the center a little bit as well just slightly um something like that and then you can see here what we have is a nice uh soft a nice little soft sphere unlike uh you know something like um something like <laughs> something like this where it's just super solid where it's just super solid uh let me just duplicate this and move it over. Uh, something like this where it's super solid and, um, you know, you know, a, a circle. So the way we can, the way we can make a nice, uh, a nice like kind of lens flare or whatever, what have you, is we'll duplicate this out. And then instead of uh, leaving it as a circle, I will stretch it out like this by holding down shift. And then once again, holding down shift. And you can see we have a nice little, you know, lens flare looking thing right there, which looks really pretty cool. Um, so that's the, that's that. There you go. Nice. Super little easy uh, glow trick. Now, if I want to do one more thing here, is I'm going to make, um, I'm going to make a slightly, a slightly, um, a slightly cool like, uh, effect where, have you ever seen these, uh, if I hold down control here and hold down, uh, hold down control and click this little rotation arrow. So essentially, Essentially, you have two different ways of rotating something in Inkscape. If you look at this, you can see if I hit this little button here, this will scale it. But if I click on, but if I click, oh, and the opposite. If I click, uh, if I double click the, the object, what it'll do is, if I move it over here, if I click the object, you see it'll turn to a little rotation um, instead of the scale. So if I click it again, it'll go back to scale. If I click it again, it'll go back to rotation. So if I rotate this and hold down control, you can see I can snap it to a grid or whatever. Um, so let's go ahead and do that now. So uh, click it once, hit this little button right here, and then hold, hold down control to snap it to corners. And you can see now we have that nice little um, flare highlight looking thing, which is uh, which is really nice. It's like a shine effect, you know, which is which is super, super cool stuff. And it's not super hard. It's not super um, rough. Like, you know, if I were to do something like this and then have it like that and then, you know, it's yeah, there you go. So it's nice and soft like a shine should be. B. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's tutorial. Super simple one, but um, this will be used, super useful in a lot of different um, cases. So enjoy your little glow effect, enjoy your uh, lens flare, enjoy all that stuff. I will see you ladies and gentlemen in the next one, but until then, bye bye.